What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video and this is going to be the rest of my signed items from our Charlotte Fan Days vacation. Uh, majority of it's going to be die cast but we got a few other items. Uh, first up my girlfriend wanted me to uh, show this. She said to make sure I showed this in a video. She's very proud of this. Uh, we met Mariel and Whitney at the gift shop that that is the wives of paul swan and austin dillon and she was able to get her cowboy hat signed there uh they gave these cowboy hats away at the uh boot barn display all you had to do was go on there and fill out one of those forms with your address and all your information and they would give you a cowboy hat uh Went to a Bubba Wallace appearance at Walmart and was able to get this 164 signed. His first win there, Talladega. So that was cool. Went to Bell Helmets. My friend had gave me a race use piece of from uh, Tony Bradinger's rides at Daytona when he was down there so I was able to get it signed a little little piece there uh, let's see what next okay we'll do this and this okay went to a Bobby Labonte appearance at Walmart that's when him and Denning Hamlin were there and uh, I had one 124 scale left that I had got off the racing picker and I was like yeah we'll get this one signed right here and that is the uh, interstate batteries and Bobby was able to sign it there on the windshield looks pretty good in the gold metallic so that was awesome let's see here where we'll go next uh, we'll do this one because I got it, it completed finally. Uh, as you probably know, uh, I mentioned in a, in a previous video, we had ARCA pit passes and we was able to get to the uh, trucks, truck series garage area with that and uh, actually into the uh, Xfinity garage area as well. But uh, had this car and this is just an awesome looking car the finish on it it's not a regular finish it's got like the uh, spark uh, I want to say like the glitter in the paint and I had previously got it signed by Larry McReynolds last year at Stocks for Tots and was able to get Mr. Jeffrey Earnhardt there on the windshield so completed this one where he almost pulled off in there in the number three so you can see how that finish is a bit different and sparkles that's what they call the galaxy finish so really really happy with that my girlfriend was too to see Jeffrey Earnhardt and let's see what I want to do next I'll do this one here uh, as I mentioned we went to a we went to Bell Helmets they had a ton of drivers and personalities there we got there a little bit late and missed a few but luckily was able to catch this guy leaving on his first ever 124 die cast and that is See if I can pick that up. Raja Carruth there on the Wendell Scott die cast. Happy to get that sign on an awesome, awesome looking truck. So, Logan, you'll probably like that one. I know you've become a pretty big fan there of Raja Carruth. So, that was awesome to get that one slide this back in the box so I can get on to the next one we 
went. Well, we was there Sunday, almost up until uh, the cup race started. And I didn't know at first this guy was going to be at one of the displays. I hadn't seen anything posted for him, but she, he usually either does something at the at the merchandise hauler. But uh, this was awesome. He was actually at the Mahandra tractors display on Cup Day, which you you, you guys probably know who it is. And was able to get his what to say the chrome car sign and that is mr chase briscoe with that blue baby blue he actually commented about the paint pen I, I brought he's like man he said i've been trying to get them to use that collar in a paint scheme and that thing turned out really really nice there so mr chase briscoe who will be moving on from stuart haas if you guys don't know he's going to be moving on to joe gibbs which is very interesting he's going to be taking over the 19 smart truex jr will be retiring after 2024 hopefully he comes back you know once in a while does a one-off maybe like daytona or something like that we can hope hopefully he doesn't pull like a carl Edwards and and just stays away from the track you know you still like to see mark truex every once in a while he's had a very successful career uh let's see what i want to do next i'm gonna save that one there for last because it's got like a inscription on it uh when we first got in town so to speak we went by am racing never didn't think we would get a wristband but my gosh guys there wasn't too many people there this truck here i purchased back when circle b had their black friday sales unbelievable black friday sales i mean good lord and uh they had one of these up one for a steal i thought and uh she's she's been in the headlines a lot lately she lost her ride at am but hopefully she can uh maybe start over and and uh one day make it back to either trucks or xfinity maybe you know barring anything maybe maybe one day cup but we'll we'll see this this truck is awesome looking it is the chrome of the craftsman we build pride there and was able to get haley digging there on that that turned out really nice so wasn't a ton of people there at AEM racing not not as many I expected that place to be swamped with people but it wasn't but that worked out well for us we was able to get wristbands for her and Christian Rose and Austin Wayne self so next up we went to uh, the reigning and defending cup champion. He's doing an appearance at Walmart. And here's another uh, die cast I got at the Black Friday sales. And this one they only made 36 of. This is what they call the flash collar coat. And this one is, uh, there you go, you can see that, is of Mr. Ryan Blaney. And was able to get his signature there. Kind of collar matches there, as you can see. That, that, that's pretty close there. So that was awesome to get Ryan Blaney. He won this past weekend. Also, he's making his case. For that 2024 championship and maybe he can be the first repeat winner i guess since jimmy johnson we shall see and then the last item michael mcdowell did an appearance at the merchandise hauler and was able to get that 
holler sign Daytona 500 and ask for an inscription and got one there never give up as you guys know he had been in cup for quite a while before he got that first victory so I thought that would be cool for that so thank you Michael McDowell thank you Haley Diggin Chase Briscoe Ryan Blaney Bobby Labonte Jeffrey Earnhardt Raja Caruth I think I got all of them and Bubba Wallace as well as Tony Bridinger it sure was an awesome time and guys if you haven't did Charlotte Van Days I'd recommend it you know usually you can get a hold of the majority of the schedule where the drivers are going to be at especially using the one Facebook group shout out to Terry in that group she keeps on top of things and tries to post all the uh, driver appearances so guys if you had a favorite item that I got signed. You can leave it in the comments below. I thank you for watching and never give up. We'll see you in the next video.